Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. First of all, I want to say thank you for subscribing, for your support all these years. We hit 80,000 subscribers, which is great. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the red button, subscribe, like the video or leave a comment. Today, we're going to be talking about passing on the run. Really important in our game nowadays, so let's get going. All right, the field hockey game nowadays is so dynamic that any position you play, defense, midfield, attack, you need to be able to pass the ball while you're on the run. And there are four variations, and I'm going to try and show you them, all of them today. First one is going to be just running on the ball and a push pass with your left foot forward. Then if you're on real high speed and you need to pass quickly, you can push with your right foot forward. Then obviously there's on the run, the forehand shot pass. And then obviously there's the one where you're on the run and you have the forehand, the, the right foot forward and the short grip pass. That's the ones we're going to be covering, so let's go. All right, so the first one is pretty basic. It's the one where you're anywhere on the pitch, you're trying to look up on the ball and you see someone open on your team and you step out with left and you just do a push pass to a certain area. Favorably flat on the ground, but you can also let it lift off to maybe lift over a stick. So what you want to do is you want to stay comfortable on the ball, you want to keep moving, and then when you see an option, that's when you step out with left, you put your hand a little bit lower towards the bottom of the grip, and from here, you're just going to try and push it on the move. All right, so when you get the hang of that, sometimes if you're on too much speed, it's hard to step out with left because left sometimes tends to block. It's the same with the reverse shot. If you're on high speed, you want to try and hit it with your left foot forward because it's easier to, to get speed on your shot. When you're running on the ball, it's different and you want to put your right foot forward because it's your natural way of running. So sometimes because you're on the ball and you're running this way and because the ball is positioned on the right side of your foot, it's hard to step out on speed because you're going to usually tumble and fall. So what you want to do is if you're on speed, you want to step out with right and from here, you can have your head above the ball and you can actually, while you're running, in your natural flow of your body, you can push the ball into space. So, you're on speed, all of a sudden, boom. It looks a bit strange, but it's really effective and it's just a bit quicker than stepping out with your left foot because you don't have to hit the brakes. So, another bit of advice if you're doing that right foot forward pass uh, while pushing, is that when you step out, you really want to try and lean on that foot. Because if you're too far away from the ball and you're like this, if your arms are stretched and you're far away, you can't put any power on the shot. So what you want to try and do is you want to step in, get your upper body to lean forward all onto your right foot. And then from there, you have your head straight above the ball. And that's where you can get the best precision and you can perform your technique the best and you can get the most power on your, on your pass. So, when you're running, don't lean back and try and push from here because you can't get any power. But try and step forward, lean on that front knee and then try and get power on your pass. All right, so um, passing with the forehand hit when you're on the move, there's different variations. So the first one, usually if you're moving from right to left uh, or from left to right, uh, if you're not on the highest speed, then you can actually just perform it like a normal forehand hit. And you can step out with that left, left foot and all the rules are the same. So for example, you're on the midfield, you're looking for a pass, you go right and then from here you see someone leading, then you can just simply step out with your right your left foot and try and get that same distance from ball to stick, which we always want on the forehand shot. And from there, you're going to try and perform a flat, nice and smooth pass. So don't open the face because we're not slicing. We're just trying to smash it. So try and keep your face nice and close and focus on getting the right ball contact. This is your sweet spot. We're not hitting it here. We're not hitting it here. We're hitting it exactly on the sweet spot right there. So that's what you want to try and do. For example, going from right to left, left to right, and then from here, that's when you're gonna try and pass exactly to where, uh, where you want. So 
So the, moving the other way is a bit more difficult. If you're moving from right to left, that means that you're gonna struggle to get the right body posture on the forehand shot. Because you're moving this way, the ball is moving towards your feet, it's gonna be hard to try and pass like that. So your footwork is really important. However, if you get the hang of it, it can be a really effective pass. So if you're choosing not to hit the reverse, you're gonna try and bring your legs around. And from here, you're gonna try and turn your body in. Because if you don't turn your body, there's no way you can pass that way. And you'll only be able to pass that way. So if you bring your body around from here, you can actually choose to get your footwork right. And then from here, you can take the same shot and your feet are gonna be a bit more square than they normally are. What you need to try and focus on is not to flip the wrists, try not to close the wrists because if you wanna go that way and you don't open up the face, you're gonna get a shot like this and it's gonna try and it's gonna go more left and you're not gonna get the right contact. So what you wanna do, move your body around, get your shoulders around as well, get right contact on the ball. Okay, so the fourth and final forehand pass is the one where we try and take the short grip and we take our right foot forward. That could be, for example, if you're on high speed and I'll just take in a situation here where we're running over the right side and we're gonna try and cross the ball into the D. So say you're on the right side here, you're on too much speed to try and do this and you don't want the defender to get in between and you wanna surprise by paying a quick pass. That's where you can take a little bit of a short grip. You can try and step out with that right foot and then from here you're gonna try and hit the ball into the D. You wanna try and get that head above the ball. You wanna try and get all your weight on that right foot. Don't lean too far back and really commit to the shot. All right guys, thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you next week.